Okay, so today we're going to put the cover on the tank. Now, I decided not to fill the tank with water because it's just easier for me to do the show and tell that we need to do. Um, what we've done is we've screwed the liner at the outside edge with some self-drilling screws. You notice we're right out at the outer edge here because we want this to be away from where everything is sealed, and you'll see why in a minute. We're going to put the uh, vapor barrier on top in a minute, but I want to bring the, the cover back in again just for a moment. Oop. And put it on top. It's got to go this way. That's, nope. It goes this way. Okay. Shows what I know. Um, there are labels on the cover uh, that are going to be at the outer edge that say don't get on the cover. And so we're going to go to this point with the, um, with the cover because we're doing two covers here. So <clears throat> um, if I had a pen, I'd mark it. Do you have a pen there? Can I borrow your pen? Thank you. Pete's well organized. He has a pen. And in this case, we're just going to mark it just so we know where to caulk to for the first part. So let's take that off. And I'll pass this pen back to Pete. And inside, I just happen to have the vapor barrier. This is just a cover sheet. It's the same as the liner. And these two will bond together very well. And what we're going to do is put this over the top like so. And we're going to screw the cover, put the cover on top, and screw the cover down. Now we'll go into some detail about this in a moment. Um, why don't I get the caulking? And we will, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's get it caulked first. This is the caulk that comes with the tank. If you run, everybody gets kind of concerned that they might run out of caulk. If you have a really big tank and you're very generous with the caulk, you'll run out. We give you enough that you shouldn't be running out of caulk, but if you are, you're probably not going to find what we send you, but the you can find it at any hardware store or Home Depot. It's silicone caulk, and it's low odor. Now, low, o, low odor <laughs> silicone caulk is uh, also called Neutral Cure, but usually it's going to have on the label low odor. GE Silicone 2 is one particular brand. Okay, so we're going to we're going to seal the top now. So from where I marked, which is right about here. We're going to put a bead of caulk, but we're going to have it towards the inner edge, away from the screw. Now, the idea here is that this is where the seal is. We have all this area still to fasten things because we have to fasten the cover down. And we need a new tube of caulk. That's a good start to our project. Okay, so we're going to put a bead of caulk, about a quarter inch bead. Now remember yesterday we were doing the uh, talking about the corners and folds in the liner material. Here's where we just go right into the edge of the fold, come back, caulk it, go over top. We want to be on the cover. Now this looks kind of rough, okay, because of the way it's all folded up here. It's not a big deal. We just have to make sure we have caulk in there. And we don't have to go crazy because when we put the cover down, this is going to spread out. It's going to be pretty flat. Okay? Just up and over a continuous bead. This is why it's handy to mark this ahead of time so you know exactly where you're going to. It's a lot easier to do the cover in two pieces, too. We have two covers anyway. You're going to get a tank. Most tanks have two individual covers. Uh, some of the smaller tanks might be a single cover. It's not a big deal. Either way, it works. Okay. That's all the caulking we need to do. The next step now is for the two of us to uh, kind of put the cover over the uh, caulk. And we're going to Try to do this without making a mess. You got the tape? No. Yes. Here it is. I did. Someone took it. All right. So let me, uh, you want to get this edge first? Go ahead. It just makes it a lot simpler if we can use a little bit of tape to hold it in place. Get one back there. Now, we were up against the wall, it gets slightly trickier, but it's not a big deal. 
we're actually going to put the liner up against the wall like this, or the cover, I should say. Let's get the cover piece on top. Push it right over. Okay, now the cover is going to help hold it in place. All right. Okay, so once we get, um, it, it's a little bit easier, again, when you can access all four corners or all four sides of the tank. But this does work. And again, you see he's putting it towards the outside edge. And let's just angle it a little bit. Okay, and we don't want to suck it in too far, but just enough to hold it. And I'll get one over here. Thank you. And a little bit of downward pressure on the cover holds the cover, cover sheet in place. And then we need to get one in the back corner, which you want me to get it? Yeah, you probably should. Okay. Now you should not get up on top of this tank. When it's filled with water. When it's filled with water, especially. But I'm keeping most of my weight on the outside edge. Get one in the cut two in the middle, maybe. Just one's okay. There's no coils. Okay. Okay. Um, probably we ought to get a couple more screws in here in the middle of the sides. Do we have them? Yeah. So I'm going to put one here. Now the cover is pretty basic. in that it is only, it's a sheet of foam that is uh, covered with a permeable plastic because this barrier is the protection to keep moisture from going out. So that protects the cover from picking up water. And if we look inside here, you see inside we have now a complete four-sided container except for where I'm standing. And as I said, we're going to leave this just, we're going to flop this over like this temporarily for, uh, for testing purposes. We want to have access because we're going to be testing some heat exchangers. We will seal it up eventually. Now, I'm going to get out of the tank. A couple other things I want to show you before we are going to do another video later on, but a few things to show you still about finishing this up even though we're not really going to finish it up. Okay, so I'm out of the tank, obviously. Now we're ready. We're going to fill the tank up with water. Um, the tape that we use to hold the liner in place where the cover is can come off now. It was just temporary. We just used packaging tape. And uh, now, other than the tape <laughs> removal, um, once the caulk is cured, we'll come back maybe and shoot one more finish up video at some point. But once the caulk is cured, we take all these layers we've got. We've got the two liners. We've got tape holding the first liner on, remember that? And we've got the second liner and we've got the cover. All this could be trimmed back to this edge here. Okay? So it looks neat. Uh, a lot of folks I've seen have left the tanks like this. You could do that, but it doesn't look as nice and it's easier to look to see if there's any issues at the top. Now the issue at the top is going to be this caulk seal that we just did. You might see some condensation leaking out here if it's not completely um, sealed properly. If you see some condensation, you get a rag, you dry it off, you hit it with some caulk. It's that simple. Now the one thing we didn't show you, because I don't have one here right now, is heat exchangers. All our heat exchangers are made to hook on the edge of the tank so they can go here here, here, if that wall was open, they could go there. They just hook right on the edge. We'll get, we'll do another video of hooking up heat exchangers. 
And what will happen is the heat exchangers get situated. This cover would be going over top and is going to accommodate where the pipe is. You're going to take your cover, in this case, this small cover that we're going to put on later um, here. And we're, let's say we have two pipes coming out here. We're going to notch into this cover. This is just a very lightweight, breathable membrane and foam underneath it. And we're going to notch into that to accommodate the manifolds. The manifolds for our heat exchangers are either 3 quarter inch, 1 inch, or inch and a quarter. And we're just going to cut a notch just slightly bigger than the pipe size so when we screw down, it will go down around. So the, the pipe will come out in between the top of the liner and the cover barrier. And the notch will go right down over it and everything will squish together. You're going to put a lot of caulk around those things. And that's it. So it's very simple. We'll show you though how that goes. And it's in the directions with color photographs. Um, if you have really big voids because you cut your holes too big or just, you know, just came out that way. Um, when you go to do the seal, you don't have to use all silicone. Another way, uh, sort of a cheat, would be to use canned foam, which will expand and fill that gap in between the cover and the liner and the manifolds. What I like to do, and I get a lot of joking about this, is once you foam it, the foam expands, and it, it, it basically grows out like a big wart. <laughs> once it skins over, and it's, you, could put, you could touch it without it sticking to your hands, which is about 10 minutes or so, I push the foam in on itself and collapse the cells of the foam so it's recessed beyond the edge here. And I, I then let it cure, and I come back and go over that with silicone, and that fills the major voids with foam, and then the water barrier, the seal on the outside is silicone. Very easy to do. Silicone caulk is a wonderful sealant. So we're done with this for now. We're going to put water in it. You, we'll show you it with the water. And uh, we'll do some heat exchanger testing. Maybe we'll get some videos of that up as well. And basically, that's it for putting the cover on the tank.